I recently did a video talking about my favorite tax books. People seem to like that video, but they started to ask me questions about my favorite Power Query books in case I would like to recommend any. In today's video, I'd like to recommend one of my favorite Power Query book, which is nothing but Mastering Your Data from Ken Pulse and Miguel Escobar. And I'll also talk about briefly about its prequel, which is nothing but M for Data Monkey. No further ado, let's start. Okay, people, in order for me not to rant too much, I'm going to talk about three specific things that I'd like to speak about in this little video that I'm making. First one, I'd like to talk about personally what I found very, very useful or the things that I really, really liked about in this book. Number two, I'm also going to talk about the content of the book and what kind of users would benefit from the book. Number three, I would also want to talk about the one thing that I did not like in this book. Okay, so the three things that I really like about in this book are the language used, the examples used, and the new content which has been added to the new book. If you talk about the language, the language is very, very simple to understand, and it's going to appeal a lot to the non-technical user, perhaps even coming from an Excel background. If you were to read the book, you're going to feel that the authors are literally talking to you and taking you through different concepts and nuances of how Power Query is going to work. And if you talk about the examples, the examples nearly feel that they are near real-time examples that exists in real-time data that people kind of struggle with at their daily work. So you're not going to feel isolated from the examples. The examples are near real-time problems that people face, and these guys are going to take you through those examples as to how do you clean up those data sets using Power Query. The other thing that I like about in the new book is that a lot of new content has been added, and you're not going to feel that it's just a copy-paste of the previous book and convert it into a new book with new chapters added, you're going to feel that there has been a lot of rejuggling of the content, pruning of the unnecessary content, adding of the new content. So all of that actually makes the new book quite refreshing to read. This book happens to be an absolute gold mine for people who are just starting out with Power Query, who have no understanding of what Power Query is, or people who have developed some sort of understanding of Power Query, they have started to work a bit with the user interface of Power Query. The first 10 to 12 chapters of the book cover a lot of ground on doing the basics in the Power Query using the user interface. They cover things like combining data, merging queries, conditional logic, and a whole lot of other things that take you from the simple level first and then proceed you on to solving more sophisticated, more challenging problems using Power Query. Not only that, you're also going to get a couple of files that you can download and you can practice along as you start reading the book, which I believe is going to be absolutely phenomenal in tying your understanding together as you're reading the book all along. If you have moved from the basic to the intermediate level and you've started to write a bit of M code, you've understood how Power Query works and you're pretty comfortable with the user interface of Power Query, you still can benefit from this book and you're going to find there has been some decent coverage on explaining what the M language is, what are the different structures, what are the different objects of the M language and things like that. There are also chapters on optimizing the queries which I really found it to be helpful. My personal two favorite chapters in this book were optimizing queries, that was one, and working with date time techniques, that was another chapter that I really, really liked. All right, finally coming to the third point, the thing that I don't like about in this book. The one thing that I don't like about in this book is that this book has been printed in black and white. Now, I don't really mind reading the black and white text, but if you take a look at the different pictures in this book, they are also uh, black and white. I don't really know if I'm showing the right page or not, but if you take a look at the different pictures here, they are all black and white. Now, when you take a look at the Power Query screen, you're going to find that the Power Query screen has a lot of colors that describe errors, uh, which you would not really see very, very vividly in this book. And I felt that if the book snapshots that they were taken from the Power Query window, if they would have been in color, it would have had a great impact on the user reading this book. All right, those were my two cents about the book, Master Your Data from Ken Pulse and Miguel Escobar. I'm not being paid or being contacted or being affiliated with the authors in any way. This is just my personal opinion of the book. I believe it's a fantastic book in case you're starting out your journey with Power Query, trying to learn the fundamentals first, and even the more sophisticated aspects of Power Query. I believe this is a must read book. Before I go, I'd like to give a big shout about my tax and my Power Query courses. In case you are starting out your journey with Power BI and you'd like to master your fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more challenging, more difficult problems, be it tax, power query, or data modeling, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be super, super awesome. 
Thanks so much for sticking around and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers and bye.